Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, let's see how we can work with custom CSS on Squarespace. First of all, let's talk about the different ways in which you can add custom CSS on your Squarespace website. So the first way you can add it on a specific page, you can add it under the design settings and you can also add CSS under code injection and I'm just going to show you an example of each. So let's first of all see how you can add it on a page. So if you just want to target a specific page with certain custom CSS, what you're going to do is you're going to go into that page and then you'll go into settings. And if you come here under advanced, you can add your CSS and you can see there's some that I already added here. And this was done in, this was done in one of the previous tutorials I was doing about Squarespace add your CSS here and if you're adding your CSS you'll need to if you're adding your CSS using code injection or using this advanced feature in Squarespace you're going to need to add the style tags and you'll put your CSS within the style tags just as I've done here so let me just delete all of this and then I will save and we're going to see how to edit this again. Let's talk about the next way of adding CSS. The next way of adding CSS is by going into design and then you come into custom CSS and any CSS that you add inside here is going to get loaded for every single page on your Squarespace website. So if you want CSS that will affect your entire site, then you should add it on the custom CSS section, custom CSS section in your design settings. And you can see I already added some CSS here and this is the CSS that's affecting this. So let me just delete this as well. And also this is another tutorial that I did about how to add custom fonts on CSS and you can find that on YouTube. So I will save and you're going to see how we can add the background once again using your developer tools on your browser. And if we go back, the last way in which we can add CSS is by going into settings and going inside of advanced and then you come into code injection and here you can also add CSS and you can add your CSS here in the header or in the footer and it's going to affect this. Okay, so if you want to change anything here using CSS, you're going to need to add the style tags as well because this is like HTML and you need to tell the browser that this is CSS that you're adding. That's why you add the style tags like this. And then you'll put your CSS within here. And once you do that, you'll need to save and then Everything you add here will be added on every single page on your website. So if you want CSS that affects every single page on your site, you can add it via code injection or via the custom CSS. Okay, so let's see how we can edit this and we're going to use the advanced and we're going to use the advanced sections on our page. So if you go back, let's go back into settings and then go back home and then we'll come back into pages. And here, this is where we're going to add our CSS. Okay. First of all, I'm going to need to I'm going to need to work out the CSS that I want to add and let me just do a demonstration here to show you how you can add a background to this text and I'm assuming that you already have some knowledge of working with CSS and working with your developer tools on your on your browser. So I'm using Opera and the Opera browser just works the same as Chrome. It is built on the same engine as Chrome. So if you're using Chrome, you can follow along just the same as I do on my Opera browser. So I'm going to open a new tab and then I'm going to try and select this element and find the CSS. And once I do that, I'm going to bring in the CSS inside here. So I'll do Control Shift N to open a new private tab. And you can also do Control, Control Shift N on Chrome and it will open a new tab if you want to open a new private tab. The only way to access the site right now is by using a password and 
if you want to preview your website in the trial mode, just go into settings and then availability settings and you can choose to add a password and then you'll be able to preview your website. So for this, I want to add a background for this and I'm going to just put my cursor there and I can right click and then I'll click on inspect element. I want to see which is the best element that selects this and gives me and gives me a way for me to style the background of this. If I do H1, I can see. So how about this? So I know with absolute certainty that in good web design, there is always only one H1 element on every single page. So what I can do is click there so that I can select that element. And then I'm going to add, I'm going to add CSS by clicking on this add button here. And once I do that, it adds this selector here for me to use. And I want to select, I want to style the H1 within this element. And if I put my cursor there, you can see it selects all the element within this block. But I know with absolute certainty that H1 should only be available once on a single page. So I'm going to, I'm going to qualify this further. I need to qualify the selector further. And I'm going to do that by, I can do that different ways if you, if you know about selectors, you'll know how to select this H1 element. And there are certain videos about CSS that I did that have the selector, that have selector tutorials. And I'm going to add the link below. Or if I forget to add them, just ask for the link in the description and I will add them. So I want to select H1. And so basically what this means is that H1s that are within here, that are directly within here, directly below this. They are directly children of this will be styled. So selectors are very important in CSS and you need to master that. So let's say I want to change the background of this and I want to make it a transparent and I want to give it a transparency of black. Let me do a transparency of black for this and I'm going to do background color. And I'm going to use RGBA to make the background transparent. And once I do that, you can see the background is now transparent. There's a transparency that has been added there. And you can do that as simple as this. So of course, if I reload the page, the change that I've made will be lost. So I will copy this and I need to add it to my Squarespace. And that way, once I add it, this page will maintain the styles. Right now, if I reload, let me just refresh. You're going to see this is going to get lost. So you can, you can just use, you can just use the developer tool to get the CSS that you need and then you add it to your Squarespace. So I'm going to add that here and I'm going to add it on this single page. If you want the CSS to only affect this page, just come here under page settings, click on advance, and then we're going to add it here. And before you add it, remember you need to add the style tags. So as soon as I save, you're going to see the background is going to change. And you can see the background is now different. So if you wanted to change the CSS for every single page on your web page, on your website, what you'll need to do, of course, you'll need to come here under design and then you'll come into custom CSS. And now the difference between adding your CSS here and adding it via the page settings is that here you don't need to add the you don't need to add the style tags for your CSS. Here you just add the CSS directly. So that's it for this video. And just to recap, if you want to add your CSS on every page, you can add it under design, custom settings, custom CSS, or you can add it under code injection under advanced settings. And when you're adding your code under advanced settings in the code injection section, you need to add the style tags. And if you want the CSS to only affect a single page, and this is good if you're adding lots of CSS, you just need to add it on a single page 
so that it doesn't slow down your website in general. So what you're going to do is you're going to come into pages and then you go into advanced settings and then you add the CSS there and you'll add it using the style tags. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel very free to let me know. I will see you next time.